Hey, entrepreneurs, this week we're going to talk about your leadership skills. And your challenge this week is to become a better leader. And I want you to do that by taking as a cue, anytime you start thinking about firing someone or you start feeling frustrated and you're going to go tell them how they're failing you, what I'd like you to do is use that as a reminder to go through a simple mental exercise where you're just looking at a pipeline of development for your any team member and just ask yourself, where are they on this pipeline? Because I think you'll find that it gives you a lot of insight about what specifically to do to, to get a better performance from your team member. So let's take a look at that diagram now. Think of this as a pipeline and your team members are always moving through this pipeline. And sometimes there's going to be sort of a, a narrow part of the pipeline where they're not functioning very well. This is a diagnostic tool where you can ask yourself first, do I even have a good enough relationship with this team member to where they care what I think about them, they care about showing up and, and having a conversation with me where we get clarity about how they can improve their job. If you don't have that, try to establish that. You know, Think of the relationship you have with your team member as very important. But the next step is just to ask yourself, do they have the insight necessary? Do they even realize that they're letting you down in this way? Let's take a look at an example. Imagine you have a manager and that manager is responsible for three other people. They're supposed to be having regular weekly accountability meetings with those people, following up and making sure that those three people who are their direct reports do their jobs well. But you feel like that's just not happening. They're not taking that aspect of their job seriously. So you start wondering, do I need to replace them? Do they, do they not care about this? Do they not have the skill? And so the first question you want to ask yourself is, do they even realize that they're not measuring up to one of your standards? Do they have the insight that they're not doing well with this? And let's say the answer is yes. They clearly know it's been documented. You've talked, talked with them. You've told them this is an important aspect of their job. Then the question becomes, well, are they motivated to, to do that? Do they lack motivation? So if they know what they're supposed to do, but they don't feel motivated, then it doesn't really matter if they have the ability. But if they have both insight and motivation, then the next part of this pipeline we want to look at is do they really have the ability? So maybe they are having these meetings, but they lack the ability in terms of just basic knowledge of how do you structure a meeting like that? How do you structure accountability and feedback with a team in a way that is motivating and gets results, right? So then if that's the place where they're stuck, then you know what, what needs to happen, right? You need to either increase their ability or find somebody who does have the ability. And then there's the opportunity for real world practice. This, this chance to practice with a feedback loop is very often the place where I see entrepreneurs get stuck. They, they think, well, they know what they should do. They're motivated to do it. I know they have the ability to do it. So why is it not happening? It's often because they haven't had enough real world practice yet with a feedback loop. And the, the real critical piece here is the feedback loop itself. So if you tell somebody, hey, I want you to do better at making uh, ad creatives that are outside the box and they go and they think they're doing that, then they, they lack the insight. If you tell them to do this and they're thinking, well, I'm, I'm only going to get paid if um, that, that this profit share agreement I have as a media buyer, I'm only going to earn that profit share if I do the tried and true stuff. So I'm just not going to work outside the box. Then you've got a motivation problem, right? If if they understand they want to do it, but they just don't know how to think outside the box, maybe they need some some prompts and some training, how to cross pollinate, how to come up with ideas that are outside the box, just creativity training, then that's the ability level. If we get to the feedback loop part, sometimes they don't know that they're letting you down, that sort of insight, but this is also um, when it comes to seeing real world results in your business, it can also just be, have they had enough chance to practice this in real life with that feedback loop? It's not just you telling and explaining, but the real real life feedback loop specifically for in this example the creatives or for the business manager uh, the real world practice have they had enough chances to see what works and what doesn't work with keeping the, the direct reports motivated so what you want to do is create a feedback loop as directly as you can to the data that matters to the outcome or results that matter to your company and, and give them access to that and the faster that they can see the, the quicker the turnaround between action and then feedback the the quicker their learning is going to be so you want to give that feedback loop and then if they're doing all of those things well they've passed through all those different parts of the pipe then the next part just becomes accountability sometimes they understand what to do they're motivated they have the ability they've got real world practice but then they start to drift because there's not an accountability system to help them to remember that this is one of the most important parts of your job so this is a process this guides you on where to coach your team so when i say get better at being a leader I'm talking about being a coach to your team and, and think through this, use this as a tool to filter for your own mind 
where you should be focusing in order to get the best results from the team that you've already got. It's often better to take somebody who you know, okay, this is the one weak spot they have and improve that weak spot than it is to start over with someone new where you have no idea if they're gonna even be as good as the person that you just let go. And, in, and also in some cases, um, they have some other weakness and you don't even know what it is yet. So it's much easier when you have someone that's doing decent and you know specifically what the weakness is to tackle that weakness first. So here's your challenge for this week. I want you to notice a moment where you feel frustrated with a team member. Use that as a cue, as a reminder, to pull up this video, look at this diagram, think through this pipeline, and ask yourself, where in that pipeline of skill development did my team member get stuck? Because that allows you to go in and coach them specifically on that, and it usually takes very little effort once you get to uh, be very clear with yourself and with them about, hey, this is the, the part of the development where I want to work with you. You'll find that this tool can also be useful for yourself. In fact, in some ways, what I'm trying to do is raise your insight on that pipeline as a leader. Leadership is a skill we get better with it over time. And so sometimes you'll want to use this on yourself. Like, where am I getting stuck? And in your development as a leader, you're not going to do it perfectly the first time. Sometimes you need a little bit of of help to just thinking through where's the constraint? Is it that I haven't built a good enough relationship? Is it that I don't even have enough insight about what I'm doing wrong in my leadership? So this is just a challenge for you to improve your insight just a little bit and get a feedback loop by getting some real world practice. Talk to you again soon.